Hello friends, Pastor Dave here for our daily devotional on this Friday. Thanks for joining me. And today I wanted to talk to you about the life that we live as Christians. Do we still sin? Yes. How do we deal with that? Let's talk about that on Something Deeper. Sometimes Christians are accused of taking the easy way out, that Christianity is too easy to believe. It's too good to be true. Uh, they'll talk about the Catholics, and they'll say, all you have to do is go to confession, and, and everything's taken care of, and you're all better. But they could say that about anybody who's a Christian, because we talk about grace and how we're saved by the grace of God, not by doing good works, but, but by grace. In fact, Maybe Protestants are are more open to that accusation because Protestants believe that your good works have nothing to do with your salvation. And I believe that's really the biblical way of looking at it. So do we have the easy way out? Is Christianity just do whatever you want and then ask for forgiveness and everything's okay and then go out and do everything you want again and it doesn't matter what you do? Well, in a sense, but that's really the wrong attitude about it. First, First John 3, I want to read to you what John tells us. Starting with verse 4, Everyone who sins breaks the law. In fact, sin is lawlessness. But you know that he appeared so that he might take away our sins. And in him is no sin. No one who lives in him can keep on sinning. No one who continues to sin has either seen him or known him. This could be a real guilt-producing passage, couldn't it? I can't speak personally about any of you, but I know I still sin. So how do I deal with this passage that John says, no one who lives in him keeps on sinning? Does that mean my relationship with God is wrong? I don't believe so. Actually, this NIV is a very good translation because it puts it in the present continuous sense. No one who lives in him keeps on sinning. No one who continues to sin has either seen him or known him. The idea is not the fact that somebody sins, but that they keep on sinning. So the idea that we can just sin all we want and then go to God and get forgiveness and then keep on sinning all we want, that shows you don't have the relationship with God that you should have because he came that he might take away our sins. God wants to save you from your sin, not save you in your sin. So when we deal with sin continually, when we, when we still have trouble with sin in our life, we could give up in one of two ways. Either you can say, well, I can't stop sinning, so God can't love me, and give up that way. Or you could say, well, I can't, I can't give up sinning, and so God must be okay with that, because God is full of grace and love, and so it doesn't matter if I keep on sinning. I think those are the idea that you can't do those. You can't give up. If you're struggling with sin, that's a good sign. Because at least you're struggling. At least you know that sin is wrong and you want it out of your life. And it may be a lifelong process of overcoming that sin. But we know that God did not come to save us so that we could sin. God came to save us from our sin. I love the I love the phrase in Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing, where it says, Be to sin the double cure. Save us from its guilt and power. We don't just want to be cleansed of the guilt of sin. We want to be taken out of sin itself. We want God to save us from our sin. And even if he hasn't done it perfectly at this point, even if we still sin Let's get up 
dust ourselves off, ask for forgiveness, repent, and say, God, I want to do better. And then do better. We may struggle with sin our whole life, but at least we struggle and say, no, with God's help, I'm going to be better. Let's pray. Father, I pray that you're, you would forgive us. Father, we are not what we should be. And it's all our fault, not yours. But Father, I pray that you would help us to be better. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God bless you all. Love you all. And we'll see you again tomorrow night, Lord willing.